Welcome back. Well, I hope your weekend calendar is marked because Ishpeming is a pretty exciting place to be. The meet the members and families of this year's class of inductees into the Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame is coming up. The Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame will invite the newest class to the birthplace of organized skiing in America. And this morning, Ashley Kirkland is there with more about what's going to be happening this weekend. Morning, Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. That's right. We're in Ishpeming at the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame, which is going to be the, the setting for some very exciting ceremonies this weekend as they welcome the newest members of this year's class of the Hall of Fame. Now, I'm stand joined here by Hall of Fame President Tom West. Tom, what can people expect when they come down for the weekend's festivities? Well, there's a lot, there's a lot going on because we've combined the weekend with the National Ski Jumpers Reunion. Okay. So there'll be a lot of uh, ski jumpers uh, from around the country actually having a couple fly in from Europe to be part of the weekend. So we're starting off with a reception for them tonight around uh, 5 and 6 o'clock. And then at 7 o'clock, we're doing the presentation ceremony for, for our inductees, actually their final enshrinement ceremony into the Hall of Fame. And that will be taking place right here. And uh, that will go on for about an hour. And actually, it's going to be broadcast over the Internet as well. And then following that, we have kind of a party <laughs> that we'll be carrying on until everybody's too tired and they go home. <laughs> well, too bad you guys don't have any snow here to do your thing. Well, actually, uh, they're happy that there isn't any snow right now. They're here to see some of the color and, and enjoy, the, enjoy Marquette County. And they'll be doing some uh, uh, tourist sightseeing tomorrow. But tomorrow morning, we start at 830 at uh, the St. John's Church uh, Community Hall here in Ishpeming with the Kiwanis uh, Welcome Breakfast. Okay. And there'll be a lot of skiers at that uh, who will be paid tribute to. And then at um, and then starting at noon, we'll be out at the Wawanoan Golf Club for the Coy Hill Memorial Golf Outing. And then we wrap up everything tomorrow evening at a banquet called the Carl Tellefson Banquet, named after the first inductee into the Hall of Fame. And that will be taking place here in Ishpeming. That, We'll wrap up the whole evening. Now, we're sold out for the banquet, and uh, but uh, tonight's ceremony is open to the public, okay. so people who want to show up can come in at, at 7 o'clock tonight and be part of it. Awesome. Now, you guys have six new inductees this year. What does it take for someone to be inducted into the Hall of Fame? Well, we have what we call a national selection process. Um, Anybody can be nominated. You can you can go online, pull down one of our nomination forms, and nominate some skier that you know that you think deserves Hall of Fame recognition. And then we have a national selection committee that reviews all of these and determines the ones that qualify. And to qualify, you have to have achieved something or contributed something at least at the national level. Okay. So, for example, one of our uh, one of our inductees tonight, Hans Geyer put in over 30 years in is a ski area manager and developed a number of ski areas right across the country, including had a major impact on the development of the Steamboat Springs Resort. Or um, as the athletes, though, it's so competitive now, they really have had to had success at the World Cup and World Championship wow. or Olympic level to be, to be recognized. Um, and so and Kirsten Clark, who is being has been inducted this year, she's carrying a world championship medal and had a number of podium finishes at World Cup races. Mm -hmm. So it's the kind of thing you have to be able to do now. All right. Well, thank you so much, Tom. Now, a little bit later, Vicki, we will be joined by one of the newest inductees, Wayne Wong. So if that name is familiar to you, you might want to stick around for the next segment. For now, I'll toss it back to you in the studio. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Ishpeming, TV6 News. All right. Thank you very much, Ashley. And, and welcome back, everyone. A big weekend. The newest class of the Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame will be presented to the community at the birthplace of organized skiing in America, Ishpeming. Highlight is the placement ceremony when the inductees put their photo tribute plaque in the Hall of Fame's honor court. This morning, Ashley Kirkland is there with some inductees and a preview of what's coming up. Ashley?
Good morning, Vicki. That's right. We are here at the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame, where this weekend they're going to welcome in the newest members of the Hall of Fame class. Now, I am here with a ski legend and a world-renowned skier, Wayne Wong. Wayne, you have been skiing for over 50 years. Can you tell us what it means for you to be inducted into the Hall of Fame this weekend? Well, it was a great honor to be uh, uh, inducted, uh, to come here to the hallowed halls of the uh, Ski Museum. is is phenomenal. Awesome. Now, in addition to being a skier, you also have been in a few movies. What kind of experiences have you gotten just uh, throughout your skiing career? Well, uh, skiing has uh, allowed me to participate with different manufacturers, and one of the uh, the things that I was able to do is uh, travel to Europe back in 1975 and spent three weeks in the uh, European Alps making a ski movie with legendary triple gold medalist Jean-Claude Keeley and the rest of the K2 ski team. Also, um, I know that you have gotten a lot of other honors and trophies throughout your career. And what's been the most coveted award for you in addition to being inducted into the Hall of Fame? Well, I think uh, the, the most important uh, award that I was ever received was the uh, Guardian Angel Award. And that was given to me uh, from Coca-Cola for my participation with the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, which I've been involved with uh, for over 27 years. And I've helped to raise about $30 million with them. Wow, very well. Now, Tom informed me that once a skier, always a skier. Do you still ski today, and what's your activity like? <laughs> skiing is my passion. Skiing is my lifestyle. Um, I'm still very much involved with skiing. As a matter of fact, I have a new brand, skiing brand, with my name coming out uh, this year. And look for it. It's called uh, uh, Legend Skis uh, by Wayne Wong. Awesome. Thank you so much, Wayne, and congratulations again for your induction into the Hall of Fame. Thank you. Great honor. Awesome. Vicki, we're, um, we're going to come back a little bit later with another inductee, Kristen, Kirsten Clark, and she's going to tell us more about her experience throughout her career. For now, I'll toss it back to you in the studio. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Ishpeming, TV6 News. Sounds great. Thank you, Ashley. It is a big weekend in Ishpeming. And for the Welcome back, everyone. Ishpeming is home to the National Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame and Museum. Dubbed the birthplace of organized skiing in America, the museum will hold events this entire weekend as the class of 2013 inductees are welcomed into the Hall of Fame. This morning, TV6's Ashley Kirkland joins us with one of the inductees. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Greg. That's right. We're back here at the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame. And this next guest, our inductee, is her resume is so long that I just had to read it off of my phone now. We're here with Kirsten Clark. And Kirsten has 12 U.S. national titles, four downhill titles, a uh, three-time Olympian, and eight times at the World Cup podium. Kirsten, that's quite a resume. What does it mean for you to be inducted into the Hall of Fame this year? Oh, it's quite an honor to come to come back here and to to see the heritage where ski racing and skiing started for the U.S. And I mean, it's it's a great honor to be part of this class of inductees. Now, your career span was about 13 years, but I know that you've since retired. How you how are you still involved with the sport today? Oh, I try and give back as much as I possibly can. I have since I retired, we have two young daughters, five and three, so my time is a little more devoted to that. But they both are already out on the ski hill, and I mean, I can see myself giving back by coaching in the future and um, just being involved in the sport. Now, I know that Tom told me that you actually inspired skiers today, like Lindsey Vaughn. Who were some of your inspirations growing up and that got you into the sport? Yeah, when you first make the ski team, you're normally making it age 17, 18, um, and it can be a little overwhelming. So you definitely have the older athletes to look up to. And for me, I looked up to Hillary Lynn, <clears throat> excuse me, who was a quiet, hard worker, kind of like myself, and just went about her business and was determined to, to be successful. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here, and congratulations again. It's such an honor to interview you. And I might add that Kirsten is the only woman on the inductee that it's inducted to the Hall of Fame this year. So that's a great honor for her as well. And uh, 
as we said, today starts the, the kickoff of the events and ceremonies, and they're going to last until tomorrow evening, so you want to get down here. And if you want more information, you can call the U.S. Ski uh, Snowboard and Hall of Fame, and they'll be able to ask any que an answer any questions that you would have about tickets or anything in all of the events. I'm going to toss it back to you in the studio, Greg, reporting live in Ishpeming, Ashley Kirkland, TV6 News. Thank you, Ashley.